going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now today we've got one of these other brain teaser those games that they just fuck with my brain to be honest but real versus fake can you see the hidden can you see the hidden details if i can speak english today so hey if you guys are new subscribe you want me to do some more of these just send them through i just have to find a bunch more but these are always fun super hard to do very frustrating actually so hey let's just get straight into it Four beauty pageant finalists were preparing for their last performance. Oh, no. Suddenly, really? Helen discovered that someone had ruined her evening gown. Oh. Helen questioned the other girls. Courtney said she'd been having her makeup done. The stylist could confirm that. Jennifer was too busy talking to the reporters, and Kelly was taking pictures for her Instagram. Who ruined Helen's outfit? Right. Okay, well firstly, I'm not a dickhead. Um, I can see th this girl clearly has a pair of scissors in her hair, which somehow they're magically floating in her hair. I won't ask questions. But hey, secondly, this guy would have gotten it all on record, and she's got a pair of goddamn scissors in her hair. I reckon it's her. I reckon it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, here we go. It was Jennifer. Take a look at her hair. She's wow. hiding scissors. Thumbnail. <laughs> Three clocks are hanging on the wall, but only one of them is trustworthy. Which one? Huh? Wait, what? How the fuck am I meant to know that? So that one's swinging that way. So that one's swinging that way. Uh, shit. I'm gonna say it's the middle one, because it's the only one where this gold thing is swinging the other direction. So, this is a guess, but could be right. There's a spider web on the hands of the first it. clock. It means they haven't moved for a long time. The time this clock shows can't be correct. The second clock has some of its numbers positioned in- Oh my God, I didn't even notice that. That is, <laughs> that is bad from me. That is the my bad. Order. 12 and nine are mixed up, but the third clock looks trustworthy. That's my bad. Professor Harold left his office at about 9 p.m. He got caught in heavy rain on the way home. Really? It was raining all night and the next morning, Professor Harold was late for work because Damn. of traffic jams. When he finally arrived at his office, he found that someone had broken the lock and covered all the walls no. with graffiti. Damn. The man interrogated four suspects who had recently failed his test. Jenny said she'd done yoga and gone to bed early. Rick was in the gym all evening. Lily was hanging out with her boyfriend in the park, gazing at stars. And Vicky worked the night shift at the movie theater. Who's lying? All right, it's a pretty easy one, actually. I don't know if you guys caught it, but I think it was this, this, uh, this, uh, this lady here. She said that she was in the park all night with her boyfriend. That's cap, that's an absolute lie because wasn't it pouring down with rain that whole night? Isn't that what they said? It's got to be this girl. You went nowhere but graffitiing this man into a little gremlin on the wall. Exposed. Caught you in 4K, lady. You were not out in the park. It's Lily. It was raining all yeah. night and she couldn't be watching stars in the park. Yeah. Good to see I got Take one right. Take a look right. at the picture. Can you spot a thief? Huh? Can I spot a thief? I mean, shit, she's got the nice uh, Louis Vuitton bag here. I mean, she might have stole it. Uh, a thief. Uh, I mean, she's got her phone out. Don't know what's going on here. She's just sitting down. Um, oh, look at this little bastard down here. Do you guys see it? Look at the bottom left corner. There's this guy in a baraclava. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. I didn't even see it at first. He's hiding behind this tree. He's a scary man. Parents went to the country and left their son Jim and their dog Chuck alone for one evening. Yeah. It was Friday night and hey, Jim Chuck. decided to throw a party. He invited three of his friends. Nice. When they came over, Chuck began to bark at the guests. Come on. So Jim locked the dog in his parents' bedroom. Oh. Half an hour later, Jim decided to visit the pet. Oh. But when he opened the door, he discovered the dog was gone. Even though all the windows were closed, Jim questioned his guests. Rob had been playing video games. Nora had been recording a TikTok dance in the living room. Cool. And Dan had been making snacks in the kitchen together with Jim. Who stole the dog? Come on. All right. Now, this 
is this meant to be easy or hard? I mean, I'm not, I'm not blind. I don't know if my face cam is blocking it, but I'm going to move out of the way. Behind me, there's a dog. You guys see that? In the bush, the dog is clearly right there, okay? I'm going to need something a bit harder um, than that because you're not going to trick me. Jim's parents pranked him. See? They're hiding oh, in the bushes. Oh, that's his mum and, and dad? With them. Kelly invited her besties weird. over to have a pajama party. What? But one of the people in the room is a thief. Are you are some Who? grown women having a pajama party. Um, is a thief. I mean, why does this girl have an FBI belt connected to her? Shit. I mean, this is her house, so she's probably not the one. Um, what's going on with this couch over here? There's like a piece of string or something. Um, a thief. How do you know who a thief is? Uh, under the bed, there's no creepy people. Um, huh. I mean, that string is the only sus thing I see. She's got her hands in a pocket. Hmm. I don't know, I'm actually stuck. I mean, this girl's strapped up with about three guns here. The thief is hiding under the bed. No, 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 no. Do you- I don't see any fucking thief. Do you guys see a thief? That makes no s These videos sometimes literally make no sense. How am I meant to know that? It says I can press on it. Yeah. How the fuck am I meant to know that? We didn't see anything under the bed. Oh, you can. Oh, I didn't see that. The thief oh. is hiding under That's the my bed. Bad. Look at the picture. Who will manage to escape the prison? I mean, I'm willing to say the one that's not in a chain around its leg. Probably this guy, right? Um, yeah, I mean, that seems pretty simple, doesn't it? The first prisoner. The lock is already open in this ward, and the second prisoner has yet to pick the lock. That was the easiest the question picture. ever. Can you find the odd flower? The odd flower. Oh, yep, yeah, this one, the bottom left. It's uh, it's purple. Yep, yeah, that's pretty easy as well. It's this little one in the left corner. Detective Daniel was asked to come to a hotel. Someone had robbed the most expensive room there. Oh. The detective checked the footage from the security cameras, but didn't see anything suspicious. He questioned the hotel guests. Karen showed him a theater ticket and said she'd visited the opera the evening before. Jane was very tired, so she went home and fell asleep. Harold spent his evening by the swimming pool and didn't notice anything suspicious. Can you help Detective Daniel to identify the robber? So they robbed the most expensive hotel room. Um... Hmm. I mean, this girl's got some n new earrings in, maybe. Um, this guy looks sus. That's all I've got to say. This guy looks... Actually, they've got the same earrings on. So... Oh, so does she. Never mind. Uh... Why do the clock... Why do... Wait. Why do these three clocks say different things, firstly? Um, I have no idea. That's... That's my answer. I... I no. No idea. Jane was a hotel guest. Why would she go home to sleep? I literally thought that as well. Oh my god, I'm... S Walter came to visit his girlfriend, Becky, at work. She was a barista at a scientific research center. Hey! When Walter entered the coffee shop, he saw two Beckys quarreling with each other. When they spotted the man, each of them shouted, Kick her out! She's my evil clone! What? Help Walter identify the real Becky. <sighs> Fuck, I mean, how am I meant to do that? I mean, shit, uh, uh, I'm gonna say, oh, I don't know, uh, how do you know, like, uh, what, am I meant to guess? So I see the logo here, here, it doesn't match any of these, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's, this one's the real one, just be, ooh, actually those ones look really like them as well, damn, this shit is hard. Oh, uh, they look the same. The aprons. I, I, I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The logo is up here. Here it is. It's up here. Okay, so this one's the real one. Okay. 
I didn't notice it. Okay. Take a look at the yeah. coffee shop logo. The logo on the uniform of the girl standing on the left looks weird. Yep. She must be the clone. Facts. Look at these monkeys. Three of them are different from the others. Can you see them? Um, okay. So firstly, this one has a kid. Um, this one is faced the wrong direction. And... Uh, where's the third one? The third one. Um, oh, this one's got a banana. And this one has a banana. There we go. I, I, this is easy. I just got all three of them in like one second. Banana. Face the wrong way. Has a This child. monkey is holding its baby. This one hiding a banana. And this monkey is looking in the yeah. opposite direction. Parents helped three friends, Brian, Aaron, and Henry, pack for their first day of school. Take a look at the guys. Whose parent is the most inattentive? I don't know what inattentive means, but I think that means like the most, you know, uh, they, he looks after. I mean, this kid's book right here literally says, love mum. Now, I don't know about you boys, there is nothing wrong with loving your mum, but going to school with a book that says, love mum, I just, it just doesn't seem smart to me, but hey, it's gotta be him. And if it's not the mum love a book, then I don't know. It's gotta be the middle. Henry is holding a lunchbox full of delicious homemade food. Brian's textbook has a post-it note, love mom on it. He probably has a caring mother and Aaron is wearing a t-shirt over his jacket. Plus his socks are different and untidy. It's unlikely that an attentive parent would have let him go out like this. <laughs> Damn! On his 50th birthday, Gerald got a weird call from his ex-girlfriend, Debbie. They oh, dated shit. in college when Gerald was 24. Oh. Debbie confessed they had a daughter, Vicky. Oh! On her 25th birthday, Vicky learned the truth about her real father and ran away from home. Damn. Gerald promised Debbie to find Vicky and hired an investigator. Next week, the detective brought three young ladies to Gerald's house. Help the man identify his real daughter. Wait. <laughs> Oi, which 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 girl do you think it is? Do you think it's the girl with the same color hair? Yeah, I reckon. I don't even have to guess this one. They literally have the same color fucking hair. Why would it not be her? This is the third girl. She has red hair like Gerald and gray eyes like Debbie. Peter, bro, that was the easiest thing I've ever. Came gotten. back home in the middle of the working day because he had left his cell phone in the apartment. In the living room, he saw his roommate Brian lying on the couch unconscious. A oh, paramedic shit. was standing next to him. Oh! He said that Brian had been poisoned. Fortunately, he managed to call an ambulance before passing out. Peter took his phone and immediately called the police. The guy said that a fake paramedic had broken into his house and poisoned his it's roommate. Him. How did Peter figure it out? How did he figure it out? You want to know? Because it's fucking him. He is sus. I do not trust this guy on the left. It's him. That is the guy who poisoned him. In front of the house, there's only one car, and it's not an ambulance. Oh. Rob and oh. Jessica celebrated their honeymoon on a luxurious cruise liner, but suddenly the weather changed and the ship got in a terrible oh, storm. Shit. After the storm, Rob found his wife unconscious in their cabin. The safe was open, all their money and jewelry were gone. Uh -oh. Jessica told Rob that she'd hit her head during the storm and passed out. Rob investigated this crime along with the ship's staff. They found three suspects. Alex claimed that during the storm, he'd stayed in his bathroom because he'd been feeling very sick. Fair enough. Eric was lifting a barbell in the gym. He was a professional bodybuilder. And Tom said he'd been sleeping. Rob knew that for sure two people had lied to him. Who exactly? Um, all right, so firstly, the middle guy is lying. Um, he said that he was lifting during a, a storm. No, you weren't, buddy. You were not able to lift a barbell and stay straight while the, the boat is tipping. Um, and the second guy, I mean, firstly, why does she have money in her pocket? I think that's what I need to ask, but um, yeah, these, the last two guys. The last two. He was not asleep, let's be honest. Eric couldn't have been lifting a barbell during the storm. 
And if you take a closer look at Jessica, you'll see that her pockets are filled with jewelry and bills. This means they're both involved in the scam. Gemma woke up in a mysterious castle. She walked around the building searching for an exit. Soon, the girl got exhausted and hungry. That's when Gemma found the kitchen. She noticed four dishes on the table. They looked great, but she wasn't sure if it was safe to eat them. Help uh -oh. Gemma to determine which food is safe. Come on. I mean, seriously, this is like some... Is this like... Am I back in school? Like, what is this? You're not eating this. It has fucking eyeballs in it. You can pass. This one has a plate of poison next to it. You can probably give that one a skip as well. This one's got spiders on it. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't eat it. So I'd probably say the spaghetti that looks good. I mean, seriously, come on. Are we having mind riddles here or fucking am I trying to help? This isn't Master Chef. Take a closer look at the soup. Can you see human eyes in it? The steak no. has poison on it. There are spiders in the burgers, but the pasta looks pretty harmless. Look at these women attentively. There's a thief among them. Can you identify the criminal? Uh, yes, what the fuck? I mean, she has her passport right here. Bro, is this the easiest thing I've ever done in my life? She is literally holding her passport behind her. It's the third woman. She's holding the phone that belongs to the fourth lady. Her portrait is printed That's on the saying. phone case. Damn. In the morning, Dr. Jill arrived at the hospital and went to the ward to meet new patients. When Jill saw them, she understood immediately that one of the patients was fake. Which one? How? How do you know that one of them was faking? I mean, they're all smiling. I mean, are you really sick? Like, I don't even know. It's the first patient. The hair color of the woman in the photo is different from hers. Oh, that's Nurse my Zoe bad. received an anonymous message claiming that a vampire had broken into the hospital. While inspecting the wards, Zoe ran into three people in the hallway, Jules, Sam, and Debbie. Help Zoe figure out which of them is the real vampire. Is this a, is this, what? Bro, two of them have blood on their mouth. One of them has it on his neck. But then again, here's, no, 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 no. Here is my thought right here, everyone. Listen to this. So these two, I think they're like holding hands. So they're actually together. They're a couple. And this is her lipstick that's gone over his uh, lips and neck. So it's not them two. It's her. She's got a red thing in, the, in her bag. It's her. It's got to be her. The first girl. Look at her bag. That's my prediction. Debbie has red lipstick all over her face because she came over to visit her boyfriend, Sam. Look, they're secretly holding yeah, hands. Yeah, we got Sam it. Sam also has traces of Debbie's red lipstick Woo. on his face and neck. My bro was getting it in the toilet. Fair enough. And Jules is carrying a huge backpack with a red stain. Yeah. She must have stolen some donated blood. What? It was Halloween night, and Joy was preparing her house for a party. Hey. Suddenly, a group of people in scary costumes rang Joy's doorbell and shouted, Trick or treat! Joy went to the kitchen, opened the fridge, and found out that all sweets oh! prepared for unexpected guests had disappeared. She called no. her three sisters and questioned them. Beth said she'd been taking a bath. Mary had been out buying decorations for the birthday party. And Erica was watching a tutorial. She wanted to have the best Halloween makeup. Which sister took the candies? The first girl. Has to be the first girl. The first one. You were taking a bath? Mary. That's my life. She said she had bought some birthday decorations, but it was a Halloween party. Nancy has been dreaming of visiting an exhibition of her favorite artist for ages. When the exhibition finally arrived in her town, Nancy called three of her friends to invite them to go with her, but they all refused. Oh, that's Wendy sucks. said she was going to a concert and had already bought the tickets. Okay. Shannon said she was sick and didn't want to leave home. And Vicky had to take her sister to a dance class. Nancy got upset and decided to put off her visit to the museum until the next day. 
After a couple of hours, Nancy looked through her friend's social media and got very angry. One of her friends lied to her. Who was the liar? Uh, what? You, uh, probably the one that. What? I'm so confused. Just end the video. What? I'm. I have no idea which one. Oh, that made no sense to me. I'm gonna be real. It was Shannon. Okay, let's shout out to Shannon, eh? That is gonna she... cap it off, guys. Real versus fake. Can you tell hidden date details? Some of these were piss easy. Some of these made no sense, and some of these were actually quite hard. So, hey. If there is any any other sort of videos like these, let me know. Send me a bunch of links. I'm down to react to some different stuff. So let me know. But hey, that will cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.